I have another Korean yarn shopping experience to share with you today. This one quite different from the underground market in Seoul. This one is in Suwon and it's a legit store. If you're new around here, hello and welcome. I'm Becca and I've been knitting for 26 years and I've lived in Korea for about two and a half. A lot of people when they move here are afraid that they won't be able to find any good yarn and while it's true that we don't have Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Joanne or any place like that that I know of, there are options for buying yarn if you're willing to go a little bit out of your way depending on where you live. This is your place if you want to have a lot of options of different kinds of yarn in large quantities of each one. <laughs> it's very well organized and well lit. Um, it's pretty easy to find what you're looking for. It's not too big that I get overwhelmed. And what I like about this store is that it's not so crowded. There's a lot of air. <laughs> if you live in Korea, you know how nice that is. They've got a wide range from lighter weights to very thick, more novelty type yarns. A lot of different colors. Um, they've got some well-known brands. I've noticed a lot of the yarns that I find in Korea are from Turkey. And this store also has quite a bit of notions and extra things to help you complete your projects. Laces and cords and different needles and hooks. And they've got a lot of buttons and fasteners. This store is where I got the yarn for my Scotty sweater, which I love. And um, right down the street from this store is my favorite food market that I've been to so far in Korea. It's better than Tongbok and Pyeongtaek, and it's better than the ones I've been to in Seoul. Uh, I think because it's further away from touristy areas or heavily populated by American areas. So, like I said, for this sweater, this most of this yarn did come from the store in Suwon. Uh, the mo mohair, as I discussed in my other video, was from the underground market, and all of the rest is from Namsung Mosa. So I ended up going with this blue, white, and brown. I took advantage of the beautiful lighting and natural light by the window in the store. And I was photographing all of the different colors of yarn next to each other because the colors I initially wanted, I realized didn't offer enough contrast to maintain, um, I don't know, the integrity of this pattern. It is a bit of a drive for me, at least, to get to this store. Um, it's not really near any subway stations. So if you do ride the subway to get there, you'll have to hop on a bus or a taxi from the subway and then go to the store. I don't have any experience riding buses in Korea, so I can't tell you what that's like. Um, but since I have a car, I just drive there. There is a parking garage under underneath it. I think it's under, it's a basement parking garage. Um, Warning though, if you are a foreigner and you don't have um, Korean credit cards or banking cards, <laughs> the first time I went, I think I was quick enough that there was no fee or maybe the kiosk just wasn't working that day. It's an unmanned kiosk where you pay when you leave the parking garage. And the second time I went, uh, <laughs> It was only 500 won, but it wouldn't accept my foreign credit card and I didn't have any money in my Korean bank account. And so I started getting really stressed out because there was a line behind me and I hate it when people are having to wait on me because I'm dumb. But this really nice family saw me struggling and told me what the problem was and then they just paid for it with their own credit card. I tried to give them 500 won but they wouldn't take it so I don't know. Anyway, there are a lot of really good people in this country and I thought that was very sweet that they helped me although they may have just been <laughs> impatient and wanted me to get out of their way. They were They were very nice to me. Even though it takes a bit of effort for me to get there and traffic in Suwon can be 
bad. This is my favorite place to go when I need a good amount of a good yarn. Uh, there's another store in Shannon that I like, and if you would be interested in learning about that one as well, let me know in the comments. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy videos like this. Um, don't forget to subscribe.